Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost video on combining a mixture of fractions of amounts with other amounts. Let's read the question. Olivia is planning a holiday and has £180 to spend. They spend half the money on travel and they spend £60 of the money on new clothes. Work out what fraction of the money Olivia has left, giving your answer in its simplest form. We've got quite a lot of information here, but let's just use it bit by bit. We've got £180 to spend in total to start with, and then it says you spent half of the money on travel. So let's work out the amount spent on travel. Travel, it says half of the total amount of money, so half of £180. And to find half of 180, we just divide the 180 by 2, that's £90. So that's on travel. Now you're also spending £60 on new clothes, so on the clothes you're spending £60. And then you can work out the total amount that was spent towards the holiday. So the total is 90 plus 60, and that's £150. So in total, we spent £150 of our money towards the holiday. Now it's asking you, what fraction of the money do you have left? So, what money do we have left? So what's left is just the remaining amount. So we just take the £180 total and subtract what we spent, £150, and that leaves just £30 left. So we've got £30 left, and it wants that as a fraction of the money that you originally had. Now, if you've got £30 left and you want that as a fraction of the total amount, which is 180 you just put the 30 out of 180. That says what fraction is 30 of 180. I put it into a fraction. Now it wants our answer in its simplest form, so I just need to simplify this fraction. Well, what can we divide top and bottom by? Well, they have a zero at the end, so we can divide top and bottom by 10 to get 3 over 18. And then 3 and 18, what do they both have a factor of? Well, they both divide by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 18 divided by 3 is 6. So we have a sixth of our money left, and that is the final answer.